a cold and windy day in Aquarius season, and I'm wishing you all happiness, clarity, and freedom. We're still out here, even though it's cold and windy. We're still out here sun gazing. We're still out here experiencing the beauty of nature. I hope you are doing the same. And my message to start this video off is to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward in your life. It's going to get rough. There's going to be rough patches, rough spots, rough bumpy roads, but you have to keep pushing, keep moving forward. Find the strength within yourself. Find the strength within your spirit to power through the challenges and the tests that life is throwing your way because you are strong and you can get through it. And that brings me into today's topic on Freedom Speaks. What are we speaking about in this special installment of Freedom Speaks? We are talking about ascension symptoms and how to cope with ascension symptoms. Now, before we start talking about how to cope with ascension symptoms, I've been getting some comments on my ascension symptoms videos that are saying um, if you have ascension symptoms and you know sometimes we can push these off and if we have like a serious disease or a serious illness we push it off and say oh it's just ascension symptoms and we don't see a doctor but I want to tell you that if you feel like you need to see a doctor if you really feel like you have a serious illness or something is seriously wrong within your body you know your body is going to let you know if something is seriously wrong right if it gets to that point and I want to say go see a doctor if you feel like seeing a doctor if you feel like seeing it could be even an Ayurvedic doctor it could be a holistic healer if you feel like seeing somebody if you think you might have a serious illness get a test go see a doctor right I'm not saying to ignore these signs and say oh it's just ascension symptoms right ascension symptoms to me oftentimes they're extremely subtle they're extremely subtle signs from our body that is a subtle sign of imbalance and it's our job to be with these symptoms and calm our minds so that we can get back into balance and my goal with these videos is to calm your mind and to let you know that these things pass right we you know we feel things in our bodies we have energies in our bodies that can result in weird symptoms weird sensations and it's okay it doesn't mean you have cancer it doesn't mean that you are going to die in fact you if you're watching this video you are probably extremely extremely healthy you understand that health is wealth you understand that we should be putting life into our bodies and feeding our minds positivity every single day and the first way like how we can cope with these weird subtle sensations and these ascension symptoms in our body is to be with them and let go of the resistance I want you to let go of the resistance 100% because it's the resistance that makes stronger the resistance to what is the resistance to the present moment makes pain and suffering grow and it makes it stronger so the best way that I have found along my journey to let go and to to get through these ascension symptoms it is to let go of the resistance and this is interesting. It's a simple switch that you can make in your brain. It's a simple switch that you can make in your mind. You simply choose to stop entertaining these negative thoughts, this negative loop. You simply say, I've had enough. I'm not going to feed this anymore. I'm not going to feed these thoughts anymore. I am going to let it go. And this is how we can move on from these ascension symptoms and get through them, right? Let go of the resistance. It is not serving you. The resistance is not serving you. 
I'm telling you right now, you can let it go. You have the power, the ability to let it go right now in the moment, right? How else can we cope with these weird ascension symptoms? How else can we do it? It's to understand that you are not dying. Like I said, if we have these subtle feelings in our bodies, a lot of times it's signs of growth. It's signs that we are changing. It's signs of growth, change, and transformation, right? When we level up, when we change our minds, when we start to think more positive, when we start to eat healthier foods, oftentimes our body has to let go of things, let go of energies, purge old energies. And again, this can result in weird physical sensations. You might have a rash. I had a terrible, terrible, awful eczema breakout last year, right around this time. You can go back and watch my videos and see the rash I had around my mouth. My skin was peeling. I had bumps on my skin. It was awful, okay, it was awful. But I got through it. I healed my digestive system. I took probiotics, right? I took some probiotic supplements, amazing for your gut health, drinking some kombucha, you know, healing our guts, eating lots of fruits and vegetables. I did a smoothie cleanse and healed myself. And that's the truth is that you can heal yourself. You can actually heal yourself, right? Our body purges these things. Our body is going to purge. But we have the power to heal ourselves and that's what we need to understand to cope with these ascension symptoms is that the power of healing it's not in the medicine that the doctors oftentimes prescribe us because oftentimes those medicines are meant to get rid of the symptoms not the root cause you see it's why i love ayurveda ayurveda tackles the root cause of the imbalance which oftentimes starts in the mind the doctors and common Western medicine, yes, it's amazing, all the technologies. I'm not completely hating on modern medicine, modern Western medicine, because isn't it amazing how we can literally go and get an MRI scan and detect cancer? We can go and have a complex surgery and get rid of a tumor, and like it's so amazing, right? The technologies we have in the modern world. But at the same time, we have forgotten about the ancient healing and how we can actually heal ourselves. Our bodies can heal themselves. This is the truth. To cope with your ascension symptoms, understand that your body can heal itself. You just have to be in the right mental state. You have to be in the right mental state. You have to understand that your mind is everything, your thoughts are everything. What kind of thoughts are we having? Are we thinking positive or are we focusing on the negativity and staying in that cycle and that negative loop? This is the truth. Self-healing, it begins within. Healing begins within. So to cope with your ascension symptoms, understand that. Also, to cope with weird ascension symptoms, it's to understand that they always pass, right? I had my eczema breakout, but look at my hands now. There's no bumps, right? And I thought in the moment, like, I, I never thought it was gonna go away. I was like, so caught up in my mind, like, I'm gonna have this rash forever, seriously. But no, my body healed itself. Your body can heal itself. Say you get a disease, say you get some kind of crazy disease your body can actually heal itself but we are not taught to believe this we were not taught to believe this in this world we were taught to believe go to the doctor pay a ton of money to get some medicine to get some antibiotics and do it that way right it's crazy big pharma how they take advantage of our health to make a profit it's it's crazy to me it is crazy it's unacceptable. We must not allow this. We have to understand that healing starts within and that your symptoms, disease, whatever, it will pass. Ascension symptoms, they will always pass. 
So I wanna say whatever you are going through right now in this moment, you might be dealing with weird mental sensations, weird physical sensations, spiritual depression, whatever kind of symptoms and pain you are going through right now, I want to assure you and promise you that it is going to pass. It is going to go away. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. This mantra is something that helps me get through my ascension symptoms. Telling yourself in your mind, this too shall pass. This symptom, this feeling, this sensation, this pain that I'm going through, this too shall pass. And this is how we uplift ourselves. This is how we empower ourselves. You see, coping with ascension symptoms, it's all about self-empowerment. It's all about raising your energy. It's all about raising your energy to the heart and beyond. Raise your energy up, up, meditate, focus on the upper chakras and transcend the fear, transcend the pain and the suffering. See, this is how we cope with ascension symptoms. We heal from the symptoms entirely by transcending them because a lot of times it's just in our mind. You know, a lot of times we create these things in our mind. I've convinced myself multiple times in my life that I've had serious illnesses and diseases. I was 100% certain that I have had certain diseases. And then I got tested and no disease, right? So it's really amazing what the mind can do, right? The mind can do many amazing things. The mind is so powerful. You can heal yourself with your mind or you can convince yourself that you have stage four cancer with your mind. Isn't that crazy? But all in all, we have to ascend and transcend these things, right? When I notice, when I'm meditations, when I'm meditating, when I'm getting out in nature, when I'm eating healthy, when I'm really focusing on my health, when I'm sun gazing, when I'm doing what I need to do in life, when I'm raising my energy, you know, ascension symptoms aren't too big of a deal. I can cope with them. I can understand that I am powerful. I am more powerful than these symptoms. I am more powerful than fear. Transcend the fear. Let it go. And ultimately, what's so important is to let go of this resistance. Like I said, we can let go of the resistance because the resistance will make stronger. The resistance will make pain stronger. It will make suffering stronger. It will allow it to grow. And also understand that what you focus on is going to grow. If you focus on letting go of the resistance, that's going to grow. If you focus on the resistance and the fear, that's going to grow. If you focus on health, wealth, positivity, abundance, happiness, joy, throughout your days, that is going to grow. But if you focus on fear and negativity and how your life could be something else, on how your life could be different, on how it could be better, then that's going to grow in your mind. So it's really understanding that our mind is a powerful tool. It can be used for good and it can be used for bad. All we have to do is focus our minds on the good, right? Focus on gratitude. This is another way to cope with ascension symptoms. It's to realize that it could be so much worse, right? We could be in such a worse position in life, but we are blessed. If you're even able to watch my content, you have a piece of technology. It's a blessing. It's a tool that we can use during this time to grow and ascend. Focus on the blessings that you have in your life right now. Focus on what you have in this moment. Focus on the amazing gifts that the universe has provided you. The healthy food, the healthy air to breathe, the trees, the life, the amazing people around you. Focus on the good. Always focus on the good. So I want to thank you all for tuning into this message on how to cope 
with ascension symptoms. There's many solar flares activating the DNA upgrades, the purging symptoms, the ascension symptoms. It's a serious time. It's a big time right now. Hope you all are taking care of yourselves, eating right. And again, you don't just eat through your mouth. You eat through all of our senses and what we feed our minds is so important. So I want to thank you for being here. I want you to like this video. And today, I want you to comment down below, if you're still here, comment down below the rocket ship emoji because we are going up and we are ascending to space up with the stars. So comment down below the rocket ship emoji right now. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for checking out the crystal shop, Freedom Vibes Crystals. Link is in the description. Thank you for joining the Patreon for behind the scenes content, Day in the Life of an Aquarius, part two, coming very soon. Stay tuned for that. And also you can donate to me down below if you feel called to. Thank you for being here. Much love to you on this day. And I want you to make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.